and it looks like somebody's day got cut short out there on the bay as it appears they are getting a side hip toe in. Welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host BG in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp and today we are visiting 79th Street. And my man with the captain hat on looks like he's ready to roll but what in the world is my man doing? Why do we have a guy on the stern right next to the motor? For the love of everything holy, please no. Whatever you guys do, I mean, this has so many danger signs here. My man's legs sitting on the side of the boat could easily get pinned between the two boats. He could wind up mincemeat from the prop. I'm surprised the ladder's not hitting the prop. I, oh my gosh. Whatever you guys do, don't do this. Yeah, buy the towing insurance, guys. It's cheap. Way cheaper than losing a limb and trusting our captain here with the hat to get you in. Don't me wrong. When I say this, they they're doing what they think is the right thing and the nice thing. So I'm not knocking him too hard. But guys, you can tell by watching. Oh, this is scary. You can tell by watching this that this is just not a good idea. Cap. And the wind and current's just dragging him as he's trying to get him over there. And it looked like we got a line toss to the dock, so our boat's going over. And we've shifted focus now from that to getting it onto the dock, and it looks like we may have gotten it. What? No! The guy's jumping off the stern back by the motor. What are you thinking? Oh my gosh, this whole scene's giving me anxiety. And we're gonna turn the motor straight at this dude in the water. What? Oh my gosh. And... I'm, if, they're thanking Cat for bringing him in. And like I said, I understand, man. But, bro, sometimes the best thing you can do is just, if somebody's in trouble, hang out with them, make sure they're okay until the professional tow company gets there. So, our guy's still in the drink. He's going to try and swim the stern of this boat over. They're still trying to get it back on the dock. I can't, maybe we dropped a line. I can't tell what's going on here now. I'd swear we had a line on the dock. And our guy's getting out of the water. But what in the world? And our crew should be good to go from here. And Wifey driving it like a boss. Put her man in the back seat. Bringing the jet ski home. So we're going to head down to the jet ski docks at the end. They got some friends with them as well. They're coming awfully wide because it looks like they're going on to seven. And she's gonna hit the dock up here. Not literally. Well, at least it doesn't look like literally. And we're gonna get a hand on, but she's pulled the cord. So now they're at the mercy of the where the wind and current wants to take them. And it looks like they're going to try and walk it up by hand. Well, that looks fun. So our guy behind him has done the exact same thing for some reason. Pulled the cord a little early. Uh, just put the cord back in, bro. Start it up. And try... This looks like a lot more work than you need to be doing. So our guy is still trying to push it. I mean, man, put the core back in, start it up, give it one blip of throttle and you'll be up there. But of course we're walking it up to the concrete, it appears anyway. I don't know why we don't just get off here. So it looks like his girlfriend trying to get off. Nope, he's trying to... Okay, so maybe he's going to get up on the dock. 
No! We're gonna get in. We're tired of trying to push it by hand, and we're just gonna walk it up. My lord. The things we see down here defy common sense sometimes. But my man's gonna walk it up, but it's the, the common sense thing, too, is they're walking it up onto the concrete. I know what they're about to do anyway. Versus just having the ladies sit here and one hand on the dock hold the skis out there floating in the water while one of you guys goes to get the trailer. So our crew's coming in on approach. And trying to line it up. Got an officer on the dock waiting to greet them. Looks like he's gonna give him a hand. They're coming bow in. And, oh, no. And he's gonna give you the push off and say, get out of here, bro. <laughs> now he's gonna look for a line. They're gonna toss one. Cap will try and bring it back around. And our officer is gonna wrap it around the one pole. And is he gonna give him a kick off again? Yes, one more time he'll kick him back out. But I'm assuming it looks like we're trying the one line approach, which always makes it more difficult. That means he's gotta get this line back around to the stern. And there we oh, miss! No, I'm wrong! <laughs> she got it! And our crew down here working on the boat. But they gotta watch out because the little boat next to him, he's coming around. Bro, watch your back! Oh, oh, he saw it. I thought for sure for a minute this boat was going to hit my man when he wasn't looking. Or it was going to knock the engine cowl out of his hand. Answer, answer. But nope, he's going to give him the little nudge and push them off along their way. Now, I guess if these guys could just figure out whatever's going on with their motor, maybe they can get on their way as well. But speaking of getting on your way, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, Remain a Machine, Take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.